Um, I'm expecting a complete quarterback that can run and throw. Um, he's a great athlete, got great athletes um, with receivers and um, good running back, good line, and, you know, we got to bring it. You know, your weekly preparation doesn't change, uh, you know, no matter who the opponent, but does it bring a little bit more intensity this week, the fact that A&M had such success against you guys offensively last year? Um, that's, if anything, that's like a personal thing. Like, for me personally, I feel like I left a lot out there. Um, and to redeem myself this game is, is, is me personally and how I feel. But the intensity is still the same every practice. Um, it's the biggest game of the year because it's the next. Um, Georgia Tech was the same way. And any other team after that would be the same way. Okay, Ron, uh, I was curious last couple of minutes uh, down at College Station last year. You made a couple of big plays, saved the touchdown, saved the two point conversion to tie. Um, just take us through those last couple of minutes for you all defense. Um, you know, just knowing that we had to make the play, knowing that, uh, you know, it's, it's on us, it's on the defense to, to go out there and, you know, save the day. And just trusting our coaches, trusting the players, and, um, you know, going throughout the game, I felt like we had a lot of ups and downs. I left a lot of players out there, a lot of interceptions on the ground. And, um, you know, just, just being who we are, make sure, we you know, we live up to the big moments. And I feel like, you know, just coming up this week, um, we just be who we are. We'll be just fine. So many games last year with three touchdown wins. When you look back on it, with the way that was going and the crowd's going crazy and it's night, was that the most fun you had in a game last year? I had a lot of, a lot of fun, a lot of great moments. Um, you know, winning a national championship is pretty fun too. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, just each win is is big, man. Each win is. You know, getting us closer to our goals, and you know, our goals is never to win a national championship, but our goals is still, you know, to to win a state and a win an opener, and you know, things like that. And um, we know that each win is hard to come by, um, regardless of who we playing, ranked or unranked. We know that each team is is going to give us our, our best shot, and um, each victory is enjoyable, but I, nothing tops it. You know, the national championship. Oh, definitely. Um, it showed teams that we were tough and we wasn't going to quit. We wasn't going to lay down and, and allow a team to, you know, um, strip us away from a victory. And um, we want to win as, as bad as anybody. And just showing that, you know, um, going hard in that fourth quarter also shows us, you know, our mobility and, and our strength of, of the off season. Um, all the work that we put in the off season, all the running, all, all the sweat, you know, all the encouraging, you know, that, that we had within, you know, the team and the, um, the unit that we built. Um, it just, it's just great to see and, and, it, and it showed it on national television. Uh, just, you know, him being himself, you know, a, a, a person that is, you know, accountable to go out there and make plays, um, catch the ball, run it after the catch and, you know, just just being who he is, uh, something that we're not used to. Um, we see it every day at practice. Um, you know, guys that go out there and make plays just as well as him. So, again, we just got to be who we are. They, they return all four of their best wide receivers from last year, had a big game against y'all last year. Are, are they pretty similar to what you face every day in practice? I mean, uh, they, they have great receivers. not going to lie, they have great receivers. They got – um, different body types and different style of receivers that, you know, bring something different to the table. Um, we go to be we go against the best in practice, and our offense know they go against the best in practice, no matter who we play, no matter who is on our schedule, no matter if it's playing for the national championship, they the best team. We go against the best every practice, and that's our mentality, and that's what it really is. And um, going, you know, into each week, knowing that, you know. If we give it our all versus who we play each and every practice, then we know that we come out victorious and we'll be happy with the results. You were pretty vocal last year about when the secondary took some heat about saying quarterbacks won't throw on us, do it. What is different about this secondary now than it was a year ago? I mean, we got two picks for the opening game. So um, I'm not going to say quarterbacks going to be afraid to throw, but um, they tend to make smarter reads. 
Um, they're going to, you know, make sure, you know, they see and they trust their own eyes. But uh, we, we're a dangerous team, not just, you know, a dangerous secondary. Um, offense, defense, and special teams, we can go out there and make plays. Just like in Georgia Tech, we got a fumble recovery in special teams. So I feel like we we just a complete team, and, and the unit, the unity we, we built during the offseason is what helped us. And um, I feel like all teams, you know, should be aware of that, that this is a team that's going to give it your, your best shot regardless of who we play. How much did you guys hear that chatter as a secondary last year, and, and did you make anything of it? I mean, you know, we just we just a humble group um, going out there um, each week, putting our best foot forward, um, blocking all the noise. Um, we, we can't control what the media say. We can't control what coaches say and players say from other teams about us. All we can worry about is is what we can control, and that's that's just us. And um, being being accountable for my teammates is the only thing I can control. So that's that's what I'm focused on. You mentioned the interceptions on Thursday. You and Tanner had a little celebration dance after. Is, it, is that something that you all do in practice? Yeah, that's actually a, like part of our handshake, and you know, it's it's exciting to see your brother go out there and display his hard work. That's that's all it is, man. When when it's game day and um, you know Isaiah and Tanner and all those guys making plays, you just see all the hard work they put in the off season, and it's very exciting, very humbling to see and. You know, just celebrating with your team. That's what it's all about. Football is an enjoyable sport. Um, it's fun to watch. That's why, you know, you guys are out here because y'all y'all love the game of football. Y'all love talking about it and love just, you know, just being around the game. And, and it's the same thing for the players. We just love watching it, love being around it, love playing in it. And just seeing, you know, your brother make the, the, the big play, big catch um, is, is very exciting. So, you know, just give him a little love. That's all it is. Kayvon, you're a guy that got to play fairly early on, meaningful snaps in your career. Do you look at teammates like a Denzel or a Chad Smith that have waited four and five years to really be in the regular rotation? Do you look at them with any more admiration in some ways because of what they kind of had to wait out to, to see to get regular playing time? It's, it's awesome. You know, like Denzel, he had the interception versus George Tech. It was just awesome because um, it's, it's, it's very hard to – I can't really speak on that, but I know, uh, you know, from experience in high school, I didn't really play until my senior year in high school. Um, so just knowing that it's very easy to get discouraged. You know, the first couple of years, you're not playing as much as you think or as much as you want and much you know you're capable of. And now, you know, it's, it's their senior year and it's their time to shine. Um, it's, it's very, 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 you know, humbling to see and. Seeing those guys just make plays. Chad had a he heck of a game, and him making plays and him waiting his turn because um, uh, Shaq was here, and then you know he transferred. And um, seeing Chad have that big moment to you know step up into that leadership role and step up to be the starter and 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 lead this group is is awesome, man. And you know I I love them both dearly. And it's basically you know just seeing like your brother go out there and finally get an opportunity. You know that God bless him with to go out there and play and have fun. This, this being your, your fourth year, how much do you think about that and embrace these moments like you had on Thursday and coming up this Saturday, especially at home? I, mean, I cherish each and every play, each and every practice. Um, I'm blessed and fortunate to even play this game um, and even to be in Division One college at an amazing program like this. Um, you know, you know the chances and percentages of you know me making here to this point. Um, for all college athletes, it's, it's hard to, to be here. And, you know, being a high schooler, you know, you want to be in the NFL right away. But um, a lot of them, you know, forget that you got to go through college and you got to perform. And um, you got to also be blessed with the opportunity because, you know, any time I need to get blown out, anytime, you know, anything can happen. And um, I never take none of this for granted. Me talking to you guys, I don't take it for granted. It's, 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 like, I have a lot of people back home that look up to me. I have a lot of family that, that's counting on me to, you know, do well, um, not just on the field, just off the field as well. Um, I graduated in December, and just, I take advantage of that and my education and just, you know, just being blessed and, and, and humble to, to be able, you know, to talk and walk and run. And um, I'm, I'm definitely blessed and fortunate to, you know, play this game of football.
feel that as players? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I feel like uh, the fans feel it, the players feel it. Um, I, I know we got great fans that will sell out each and every game no matter who we play. Um, but uh, obviously I feel like there's going to be a lot more fans there, a lot more people there um, because they, they know the capacity of this game and the impact of this game. But um, we tend to do well, quiet out the noise, and just go out there and perform well. Um, regardless of who we play, regardless of how many fans show up, um, we love our fans. They they love us, and we go out there and perform well for them. And you know our coaches, and just lay it in line for our brothers. What was the reaction on the sideline Thursday? As Trevor was kind of running toward the sideline, about to make that tackle after the interception. Um, you talking about like during? Oh yeah, it was like uh, it was basically like the highlight. For me, um, the whole the whole game, just because right after you know we got an interception, so just seeing him you know lay it on the line to to make that stop to give us an opportunity because that's 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 all this game is just accounting like being accountable and and being um, you know taking advantage of all your opportunities and um, he gave the defense an opportunity to make a stop and that's exactly what we did and that just that's just going to show you you know the highlight of our season. How how you know we have players that you know have a heart of a champion and go out there and lay it on the line for the team. Um, he could have easily gave up on that play. He could have easily you know said what was me and you know just had his head down, just jog. Could have easily walked in. Um, the the corner had a head start and everything. So just seeing him you know just giving his all to 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 set the defense up to have an opportunity to make a stop is going to be the highlight of our season. Is it's going to be good, man. It's going to be a good season. Did that make you flash back at all to that play you made at a and Because it was almost exact same time <laughs> on the field. Man, I had a lot of uh, coming back to a and moments. Um, even during the fall camp, uh, we take every scrimmage serious. And I had one of those type moments where I popped the ball out before the goal line. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's very, it's very, like, uh, it's, it's, it's a blessful feeling to, you know, just see a guy just lay it on the line and just don't quit. And it's a lot of players that, you know, are entitled. It's a lot of players that are, you know, um, you know not taking advantage of the opportunity, uh, whether it's, it's, it's good or bad. And adversity is what, you know, make this team. And you've seen that, you know, Trevor going out there um, throwing an interception. And that's, it's, going crazy, you know, oh, this Trevor Lawrence, he's not supposed to throw interceptions, but him throwing an interception, he shows y'all that he still got the heart of a champion by getting that stop. Okay, but the Texas A&M offensive lineman who said, he feels like y'all are right, right for an upset. Jared Hawker said, quote, there will be an upset. Do you have any thoughts on that? No, no comment on them. Uh, all we can do is focus on uh, what we control and, and that's performing well. That's all we can do. I mean, the whole season has been. Um, it was it was a long off season for me because of going in every day, giving it all that you got, and it's it's very you know exciting to to finally go out there and play each and every game. Um, obviously, that's that's you know my my personal preference and to playing well versus texting them because um, I feel like I didn't do my best, but you know each and every game. I want to redeem myself. Each and every game, I want to um, go up. And each and every game, I want to make a career in tackles, make a career in uh, interceptions, whatever that case may be. But um, be a leader doing it. I want to be, you know, held accountable doing it. I want to, you know, make sure my teammates know I'm a very selfish, um, selfless um, player and selfish teammate. And and I'm gonna go out there and lay it on the line for my brothers, even though you know it's a personal game for me. Um, it's, a, it's a personal game for a lot of play, players on this team. Um, and our, our job is to go out there and perform our best. And regardless of who we play, my personal best is always going out there and playing my best. Were you able to enjoy the win last year after Texas a and Oh, most definitely. Each win, regardless, we win by one point, half a point, if that's even possible. <laughs> going out there and just, <laughs> hey, going out there and just getting a victory, man. Because every every game is is hard to come by with, with being victory, vi- being victorious, 
and you know coming out with a with a victory in in College Station, man, that that crowd was crazy. Like that was a, one of the best atmospheres I ever played in. And, um, going down there and you know coming out victorious is you know is, you know God bless us for that. And um, each win, no matter who we play, is you know we, we'll take advantage of it. We you know happy for it. So regardless of you know who who we play and how much we win by, a win is a win in my book. So. Who's the hardest, hardest hitter on this defense? Who the hardest hitter on yeah, defense? All of us. All of us. You don't want to see none of us on there. <laughs> D line, linebackers, safeties, corners, our dime packages, it don't matter. It doesn't matter. Everybody is going to bring it, and we're going to give it our best, and we're going to lay that wood. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.